Hi, I'm Rob Chaprushi, and this is my friend. Uh, Nigel Tufnell. And we're here at Anderton's.co.uk, and we're checking out some of these beautiful new Music Man guitars. Lee, tell us a bit about these. Well, you guys might know Music Man as the creators of some beautiful Californian handmade guitars and basses, particularly things like the Stingray bass, which has been a, a, a real big selling uh, bass for them and a classic bass. And more recently, uh, Music Man have uh, ventured into doing some uh, Far Eastern made uh, licensed copies of those guitars. Uh, they've called this brand, uh, this range, Sterling. And we've brought along four of the Sterling copies that they make, which is the uh, version of the Silhouette, which is the one that uh, Mr. Chaprushi is playing at the moment. Uh, then we've got a couple of the uh, Axis um, style guitars that you may remember um, Eddie Van Halen uh, was using a few years ago. And we've also bought the John Petrucci uh, signature JP50 as well. Oh, he is. Um, and they're all great sounding guitars. They feel very different to regular guitars, don't they? I think anybody that has ever played a Music Man electric guitar, the immediately thing that they will notice is the neck profile on a Music Man is unlike anything that you've played, That you know, Strat, Ibanez, yeah. Les Paul, anything. It's very compact, small, narrow fretboard, um, which I think you either fall in love with and you can't play anything else, or it's just not your bag. Mm. Um, so, I'm, I must admit, I'm a big fan. I, I really do enjoy playing Music Man guitars. Um, so specifically here, this is the called the Silo 30, and it's uh, based on the the silhouette. It's pretty much exactly the same shape as a silhouette. Very pretty kind of uh, machine uh, headstock style with the four down one side and two on the other. It's a real kind of signature Music Man thing. Nice well, satin finish on the neck as well. Yeah, and an interesting uh, five bolt on. Yeah. There. Really easy to adjust the neck angle. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to um, take any kind of plate off to get to the uh, truss rod. You can do it from this wheel here. Uh, slightly different take on the the trem system. Fairly traditional vintage style, but but a little different to fenders. More floating. Uh, hum single single. A nice pearly scratch plate. That's a nice looking guitar. <laughs> Fendery kind of sound there, yeah. And of course, everybody knows that the the main man Leo Fender was actually involved with Music Man in the early days. Uh, that I was, didn't say that. Did you not? I had no that idea. That was uh, yeah. The three guitar companies that uh, Leo Fender was involved with was Fender, obviously, uh, Music Man. He was involved with and um, G and L. I had no idea at all. Yeah, that's what the L in Check G and L is for Leo. Yeah. I don't know what the G is. George something or other. I can't remember what his surname yeah. was. I'm sure YouTubers will tell me, uh, but yeah, so it's a really pretty guitar uh, and great value too. About 400 pounds, I think, isn't it? 429 Imperial credits. 429, so very much an alternative to something like a Fender Mexican Strat uh, mm. in terms of price and, uh, and well worth a look. A couple of players who um, have got Music Man guitars that are sort of, although their own uh, signature models, they're very similar to a silhouette, uh, are Steve Lukather, um, Steve Morse. All the Steves, uh, really. Yeah, John Petrucci. Steve John Petrucci. Yeah, and um, Steve from Dunstable. Steve from Wimpy. So yeah, this is the silhouette. I think it's available in black or white. Uh, definitely available in black, obviously, and I'm <coughs> pretty sure 2010 had a, like a limited edition white finish. <laughs> so.
So we've got this beautiful orange looking guitar here. Why are they called Sterling? Uh, Sterling is named after uh, the music man is owned by Ernie Ball, you know, the, the string guy. Yep. And his son is called Sterling Ball. And Sterling's been involved oh. with the company for many years. And in honor of him, this is the Sterling range. Wow. Uh, so this one is the AX20, yep. uh, based on the Axis that uh, you guys may remember from a, uh, in fact, it's been in the catalog now for, I don't know, 10, 15 years. And of course, it was originally designed for Eddie Van Halen. Um, and I think generally, I still think it was the best signature guitar that, that Eddie Van Halen ever had. He's obviously moved on from Ernie Ball and Music Man to other brands now, but uh, I still think that, that his was the best. So yeah, AX20 is the fixed bridge version. We're gonna check out a, a Floyd Rose version uh, afterwards. Mm. So again, uh, still the very narrow compact neck. That's a feature all through the Music Man range. Um, pair of humbuckers with a five-way switch on it. Beautiful kind of bird's eye maple top on here. Um, and uh, great all-round guitar. Yeah, only a couple of quid more expensive than the previous one. This is just 489, which I guess pays for the extra humbucker, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I guess it's a, a, a slightly different design to the, the silhouette, so a little bit more money. <laughs> Actually, this is a lot nicer. It's for some reason I'm finding it easy to get around, but it's a chunkier neck, mm -hmm. which is a bit unusual for me. I think it's quite a narrow fretboard, it is isn't it? Very narrow fretboard. Yeah. yeah, strings are very close together, but that kind of feels good when you've got regular sized hands like me. <laughs> so that's the the AX20, and basically you can also buy this with a Floyd on it. It's called the AX40, and we got a blue one of those to look at. So we'll check out that next. 